Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Prosec Monroe and I am back with another video. So today I wanted to um, come with you guys today and talk about some things that I wanted to try. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I don't really wear nails. And the reason why I don't do nails is because um, I have a tree nut allergy and I'm severely allergic to coconut. And um, whenever I try to um, go to the nail salon, because they're using so many products that we don't necessarily know the ingredients in, I always have allergic reactions. And on top of that, um, when I was getting my nails done, I was getting this thing called SNS, which is supposedly like a natural thing where they put like a powder on your nail. It's supposed to form into a color. And I love the way my nails looked, but my nails were never um what like healthy so when i took it off like it's even it wasn't as bad as an acrylic but the i still had like ridges on my nails which i did not like and um one time i remember because with the uh the sns they dry it a certain way so i had to dry my nail one time and my nail could not stay under the dryer because it literally started to burn and i knew that you know, like, God created us with protective layers on our skin and everything. So sometimes when you mess with those things, it affects you. So I was just like, I don't want to get my nails done anymore. Um, it's not healthy. It's really screwing my nails up. It's not even, like, protective. So there's nothing protective about it. So I was like, I'm going to find another way, which I haven't found yet. But I think I may have found a solution to this. And so that's what I'm going to talk about in the video today. Um, so yeah, so today is going to be a self-care vlog. Um, not really self-care, but just products. So I went to a Mary Kay party recently. I'm going to show you some of the footage where we got facials and um, we learned about products for our skin. And I was in search for a, um, a moisturizer because right now all I use is Vaseline because I'm allergic to everything. Um, I actually found a natural soap that didn't have coconut oil in it and didn't have shea butter because those, those are some of the things that I'm allergic to that will cause eczema for me. Um, and so I found a soap. Um, the brand is called Siri Lux. I have the soap in the, um, I may show it to you guys another time. Um, I also will link it in the description box. But I found a soap that works well for me. I just was looking for a moisturizer. I have all my serums, but I need a good moisturizer. So... I found a moisturizer. I found a good moisturizer at the Mary Kay party that I went to. And um, my sister is actually selling Mary Kay. She's a hairdresser she and esthetician. So she does all of that stuff. And so I, um, I wanted to do a one-on-one -on -one with her because like at the party, there was a lot of people and you gotta kind of tend to a bunch of people. And I know I have access to her. So I was like, you know, we're gonna talk about my skin issues and what products you have for me. So we all got facials and we saw what we liked and um, we ended up purchasing some products. So I'm gonna talk about um, the Mary Kay Botanics line because that is the line that works for me. That um, moisturizer works very well for my skin. But um, in this video, we are going to focus on the nails. So the solution that I found for the nails are press-ons. So I found um, a couple of press-on boxes that I thought were super cute. And um, so this one, this box I actually opened. I haven't used it yet. I've been meaning to use it, but I always forget. Um, I was trying to also find a good glue that would last a long time. So press-ons have been on the scene for a little while now and a lot of people have been doing press-ons um it's definitely more cost effective than getting your nails done but more importantly for me it keeps my actual nail bed um healthy and so that's why i went into that and they actually have a lot of cute um designs like um kiss makes a lot of good um press-ons and i actually go to dollar general and i pick mine up um, these, I believe I got from, um, I don't know if you could see them. I got them from, where did I get it? 
So I'm excited to um, try press on nails just to see if it helps with um, my my issues with my skin as, as well as my nail bed, like keeping my nails natural and healthy. So I bought a couple of um, um, boxes and um, I just remembered where I got this one. I got this one from Five Below. So Five Below has them. Um, so I think they're like four fifty at Five Below. Dollar General has them. They range between three fifty and seven dollars. And um, I had to remember to actually put them on before, cause like I have a whole routine when I'm about to go out or go somewhere. It takes me about an hour and a half to do my makeup. Um, I usually pick an outfit before I I um, figure out where I'm going. Like usually I'll think about what I want to wear um, when I have an event to go to. But I have to remember to actually put my fake nails on before I put my contact or after I put my contact. Because that's another reason why I stopped getting my nails done. Because when it was time to take my contacts off, because the nail would extend this far and I usually try to pull my contact down, I wasn't able to get my nails, my contacts out of my eyes. And I'm not sleeping with my contacts. I learned my lesson. I have had several eye infections from sleeping with contacts and I'm not doing that anymore. So I need my contacts out that night. So that was another reason why I stopped getting my nails done because as my nail would grow, because with the SNS, it's your actual nail, my nail would grow and I would have trouble trying to um, take my contacts out. So this is definitely, I had to figure out, remember to actually put these on after I've actually already placed my contact in. And, um, I want to see how long it actually lasts. I found, I found several glues on TikTok to see how long they last. But I'm excited to see if I can keep my, um, can I, if I can keep up with this because I really like to have my nails. But I'm not willing to sacrifice my actual, the health of my nail. And um, yeah, I'm not trying to sacrifice a lot. So I think that these nails, these uh, synthetic or fake or press on nails um, will work well for me. And so I'm excited for that. Now, um, I want to um, talk to you about the Mary Kay party. I'm going to show you some footage of the Mary Kay party and everyone getting facials and how their skin looked after um, in a few. However, I wanted to talk about the Mary Kay party because um, we learned a lot of things about our skin. And um, as you start to get older, you want to take more care of your skin. The things you used to get away with when you were in your teens you can't get away with anymore. And so it's very important to um, use products that help. So uh, because I've done makeup for a long time, I've learned a lot. So what I learned is that you need a hyaluronic acid. So, so the first step to skincare, if you have a morning or night routine, the first step is to have some sort of serum. So with your serums, um, depending on your skincare needs, but on average, most people find um, that these three products that I'm about to show you work very well. So if you suffer from hyperpigmentation, which is like dark spots or dark circles around your eyes, a lot of black people, black women suffer from that, um, you need a good glycolic acid. So um, this is... It's this one. This one is a glycolic acid and it's a serum. And what it does is it brightens. So glycolic acid and some sort of vitamin C serum will help to brighten your skin. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced like when um, you wake up, you just, your skin doesn't feel vibrant. It looks gray sometimes. That is a telltale sign that you need vitamin C and glycolic acid. And so those products will help brighten your skin, have your skin looking fresh and youthful. Now, the um, hyaluronic acid is for those with dry skin, um, irritation, and it also helps with glow. So the hyaluronic acid is, I have this. These are the serums that I use. Um, and I got these from TJ Maxx. You can get them from everywhere. You can go to Sephora and pick a bunch of um, products out because they have a lot of stuff. The hyaluronic acid, though, is going to help. It's going to be that first layer that helps with um, your skin absorption. It helps your skin to absorb products and allow you not to have that dry skin. But everybody doesn't suffer from dry skin. 
everyone doesn't just suffer from dry skin, so you may not need hyaluronic acid, but hyaluronic acid helps with um, your skin absorption. So um, definitely get a glycolic acid and a vitamin C if you have oily skin. But um, depending on how you feel, how dry your skin, maybe you will use a hyaluronic acid in the winter time when our skin starts to get drier, but you don't necessarily need it if you have oily skin. Now, the last item that I have is retinol and collagen. Now, um, retinol is in a lot of eye serums and um, anti-aging projects. I mean, anti-aging products. And um, what it does is it plumps your skin up. It gets rid of fine lines and... Um, it just allows your skin to look and feel youthful because as you start to get older, your skin starts to droop and it starts to, um, um, loses its elasticity. So like, you know, like I can go like this and it'll pop back up, but someone who's like 20 years younger than me, it won't, it won't bounce back. So you start to use these anti, if you're over the age of 30, you want to get some sort of serum with retinol and collagen just to have your skin always looking plump and skin always looking uh, less lines and wrinkles. Um, I don't suffer from that, but also I'm not, I'm old, but I'm not that old. But I still try to prevent certain things because I notice that I get a lot of puffiness around my eyes and I have um, products for that. So um, my skincare fridge houses a lot of these products. I have so many more products, which is very shameful, but I'm a product junkie and I'm not ashamed of it, but it is a little excessive, but um, one of those uh, hot eye rollers, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show, I'm going to go get it and show it to you guys. So I have my uh, face roller. So it comes with two pieces. This is for the under eye and this is for the rest of your face. I forget what it's called, but usually this part is made of a stone called quartz. Um, it's supposed to um, help with... Um, bringing your skin back to life and reducing inflammation. So a lot of times I wake up with puffy eyes and I use this every morning. This is supposed to be kept cold. So this is one of the reasons if you need one of these and you have puffy eyes, or you have allergies, this is a reason for you to get yourself a skin fridge, girl. Yeah. So this needs to be kept cold and I keep it in my skin fridge and you want to, every time you do these type of things, you roll up. You don't roll down, you roll up because you want to keep everything up and not droop. But um, this thing comes very handy. After you put your serum on, you roll this stuff and it allows, you know, it gives your, cell, your circulation on your skin and helps with inflammation and all of that. Now, after you have used your serum and you have rolled, used a little roller, I don't even know what this is called. I'm sorry, it's not called a roller, but it doesn't have the name on it. But mine's is actually electric. My sister bought this for me one of these years because I really wanted a new one. And it was actually, it's called, it's a flawless one. And my skincare fridge is a flawless skincare fridge. So that's the brand. And so she bought me this, this um, rose gold one. Cause she knows, you know, I'm such a girly girl. I like pink, rose golds, all that. But after you have, you know, rolled your face, put your serum on. That's when you put your moisturizer on. Now I got a moisturizer from Mary Kay, which is the uh, botanic from the botanics line. It does not have any of the things that I'm allergic to, which is very surprising. But I want to use it to see if it's not going to make me break out because that's another thing. Sometimes things just don't go well with you and it may make you break out. But I'm willing to take the chance because I'm desperate. I need a moisturizer. I'm tired of just using Vaseline. And so once you finish using... Once you start use, are done using your moisturizer, um, you, you're set for the day. But make sure your moisturizer has SPF because that's extremely important. It keeps you from getting sunspots. It, protect, it gives your face a, a shield, um, a layer of sh uh, protection. And so you should be good to go. And then at night, you can do about the same things at night. Um, you could use a mask at night because masks are really good. But you want to, you know, don't use two masks too often. You can do a mask once or twice a week. Um, you can expose, exfoliate as well once or twice a week. But you do that at night. Don't do that during the day because it's going to cause a lot. So your night routine is going to consist of you moisturizing, you um, using your roller, um, maybe a mask, not every day, maybe exfoliation, and add a vitamin E serum. 
you can actually get the vitamin E tablets and cut them open and put it on your face. You don't want to use vitamin E during the day because vitamin E um, and direct sunlight can irritate your skin. So you want to do whatever vitamin E serum you have, you want to do that at night. And so you can moisturize heavily at night because that helps your skin regenerate itself. And so when you moisturize at night, it helps your skin go back to normal. So whatever toxins or environmental effects that it, that it went through that day, it is being regenerated to be um, to go back to normal, to snap back. So a lot of people don't see the benefit in a night routine, but I will tell you that a night routine is extremely important, especially if you're over the age of 25, you want to start um, training your skin to do what you need it to do because there's nothing... Um, I love makeup. Makeup is beautiful, but you don't want to have to wear makeup. It's almost like being a slave to makeup, having to wear it every day. You want to make sure that your skin underneath looks extremely um, clear. You want to make sure it looks clear. You want it to look um, healthy so that when you do put your makeup application, it's even more flawless because you don't have issues under your skin. I mean, under your makeup. And so there's a lot of different things that we can talk about, but I'm going to take you guys to the uh, Mary A. K. party and I'll show you guys, you know, all of the things that they talked about and people getting facials and stuff like that. And um, if you're interested, if you're if you are interested in some products, I will list my Mary K. consultant on the bottom. You guys could go onto her website and check out what she has. But um, she could also zoom you in tr and teach you what the products do and um what you you know talk about your skin concerns with her and she could guide you through the process but um i've been using mary Kay for years i think i was 16 when my mom bought me my first mary Kay product they have like this night um emollient um paste that you put on your face before you go to sleep it has all the good stuff it has rose oil vitamin e all of that stuff and i tell you my skin always looks good when i use that before i go to bed so um let's take it let's take care of our skin um, that can be a goal for 2022 and obviously, you know, there's some things that you can't help if you have acne and certain things um, It gets better with through age like as you get older it gets better. Just take care of your skin Find what works for you because what works for me may not work for you Find your routine find your products find the things that work for you and just consistently do it wash your face twice a day come up with a night and morning and night routine for your face and I promise it's going to get better. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, here are um, the clips from the party, the Mary Kay party. Um, hopefully, you can get some information from it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So, let them know. Hey, y'all. I am here at a Mary Kay. What's this on it? Beauty party. It's like a raspberry sauce. You can eat that. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Hey.